well you can predict Rob's projectiles in neutral and how well you can play around that nair, right? Are we going to see the power use this set is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I think it would be... It would, uh... <laughs> Wait, sorry. Nice. Starts off with immediate arrow and gyro. You love to see it. <laughs> oh, Z-Drop. Z-Drop bomb out of shield. That shows experience in this matchup. Yeah, trying to play play through cross-ups like that. Rob can, can be kind of ambiguous on which side that they're landing. And uh, Dill, you'd like to do that to uh, really great effect. I think it would be behooven of Spoopy to try and stay a lot more grounded in this matchup, though. They have Gyro in their hand. Un unable to do anything with it, though. Yeah, you can try to stay grounded, but at the same time, it's like it might work against most of Rob's tools, but what if Rob decides to down tilt a ton? You know, that, that's right. scary. But yeah, for, for sure. Well, I that's mean, where like, yeah. things like bomb out of shield become super parry. Absolutely. Oh, very nice parry on, the, yeah, on that neutral there. The combo's already coming out, gets the tech. You know the Rob players always go for that jab lock for his time. They're just hoping. They're hoping <laughs> you're going to miss that tech. But good stuff to Spoopy for realizing that was a trap. Um, and now, oh my, wow, that is... We have bombs, gyros, boomerangs. I feel like everything in the kitchen sink is flying. That was Ooh. an attempted robbery we just witnessed. Yeah, trying to catch them, maybe like doing a low recovery or something of the like. Either way, it didn't uh, didn't quite pan out to deal all the tether grab just too short. That's yeah, wow. so unfortunate. <laughs> Look at it. There's so many different situations that are being, you know, thrust on both players right now. Like, how do you calculate your option? For you know, boomerang, nice. arrow, gyro. There's just so many like infinite possibilities, right? That's gonna be an upbeat. Should be able to recover because of the bomb. Yeah, yeah bomb there we go. Explode, super high. Going for the air knock oh, though. That was so greedy. Every option covered. It wasn't even greedy. That was that was just great option coverage. Because oh, absolutely. But I feel like they could have done an upbeat high in order to, uh, given how. It, Toon Link as a floaty character, as you were mentioning, right, Raidu, like right. that forward air is there every single yeah. day of the but week. Here's the thing, yeah, being floaty, there's a downside we were talking about, right? I mean, you might air dodge that Rob forward air, but you haven't fallen very far. And yeah. now Rob is already in a position to get that down tilt off on you. You get shield poked by Gyro? That sucks. That is not fun. <laughs> Just L. Yeah, getting <laughs> shield poked by projectiles is like the most uncomfortable experience in this game. Oh, All that right. could have been a combo off of the yeah. could have comboed into upper there, but just wasn't confident in getting yeah. the hit. And you gotta be landing those combos if you want sure. to beat Rob, because that's that's the Rob weakness. I mean Rob's weaknesses being big. And uh, you made maybe base knockback a little Boom. percent. But <laughs> mostly being big, right? So Right. Oh, Oh, but just going for a jab there. I wonder if they could have. Yeah, they could have, uh, especially given on a platform there. Like, that's really feel like spot but dodge percent. This is something we've talked about time and time again. This is not Street Fighter, right? So it's true. you might get those frame traps, but if they don't kill, you know, you're going to get robbed to 160%, this being a heavy character. And now you've almost hurt yourself as a Toon Link player because they're going to be out of kill confirm range. Right? Look at that. Gets a side B, but no kill confirm. It would have been better if Rob were at 100% there. Absolutely. Like, managing your hits is uh, is extremely important as a zoner player in so many regards. Toon Link, though, does have the advantage yeah. of a killing up B out of shield oh, if yeah. they are able and to find the positioning for it. But Dill scrapped their way out of the corner and just turned that into an instant juggle situation that Spoopy oh. had to just deal with. And my crush, oh no. Oh no. That is, that is so unfortunate. Yeah, if you think they're going to do something besides block as Rob, you can kind of just let it rip because yeah. it's going to cover projectiles being a reflector. It's going to cover attacks, and you bet he's going to cover movement. <gasps> okay, gets the up smash. Still in this. Again, Toon Lake has the combo game uh, to make this comeback. But it is so hard against somebody as good as Dill at playing defensive, playing patient, and not giving you any strike openings. We see this theme time and time again, right? It's you got to be able to stay alive. And you got to be able to stop them from staying alive, you know? Health won't yeah. do it. Got to keep the mobility going, and then we haven't really seen Spoopy like extend super far off of a single hit. It's been a, a couple straight back airs. So maybe, maybe you'll get that uh, that occasional bo uh, bomb into forward air. But again, like uh, we're setting up for this perfect platform tech chase and unable to try and capitalize off oh, of it. There's a new maybe a combo, yeah. but I feel like yeah, it, it, it's just it's just scary when you're getting you know chip damage off of every interaction. Um, and I also noticed it was very funny, actually. If Gyro's on the ground, apparently it just stops arrows. Like, it just stops them completely. So that's that's got to be annoying. Yeah. What? Uh, I mean, what would you think of anything less as Gyro just being one of the most uh, priority yeah. projectiles? It's yeah. pretty good. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, Gyro's a pretty okay move. This may surprise you, but I believe this. 
Uh, oh, oh no! As we say that, Toon Link gets two framed by the gyro with the. Oh wow! Did that shield poke? It did. Yes. Wow. That's probably because Rob uh, moves the arms Very up and nice. down right during the move. And oh, didn't find the finisher too early on going super deep, and Spoopy was able to escape with that with his life. All right. If Spoopy can just get one confirm right now, one bomb into fair or, or boomerang into fair. Suddenly, this is so much more doable because Rob really is a character that kind of gets come back on as well if you get that one opening. I think you really need something like an, uh, especially in like an yeah. up air here. Up air being so strong, never having to worry about stage positioning. If you're just able to find one of these bombs and they are coming in full force, oh, wow. but the gyro. Look at that wall. And look, look at the wall that Dill is putting up as well. Just her like corner pressure, just the way that she uses this this fair to kind of... Almost, oh, wow. Let's see, almost like a sortie, right? Like, you're seeing Rob play not like a zoner, but more like a, a Marth-style character, where you're just right. spacing the forward air. Because even if you don't get a ton of reward off it, right, what you're doing is tacking more and more damage onto a character that already can't kill you, you know? Right. So Positional was... pressure is just, like, everything for... Especially when you're playing against a zoner like Toon Link, who doesn't necessarily find these, like, these corner carry confirms, or, like, some of their counterparts. Like, you can really take advantage of, yeah, I maybe only got, like, 6% off of this forward air, but you're in the corner, and now you have to worry about yeah. having the oh. time to pull your items oh, while I'm at mid-range. Air just dodge, down air. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Textbook, right? Textbook. And, uh, uh, yeah, that's, that, that, that's scary. I mean, honestly... What do they do here, actually? It's funny because I feel like yeah, a lot of these games, like, you, you know, you see when it's two characters with long-range options, right? Um, you know, the hits, oh, jumped, the yeah. hits back and forth are, are pretty even. But then when it comes to actually getting that kill, that's where things start getting out of hand. So we go back to Kalos. Right. Well, we go to Kalos here. Kalos, uh, projectile zoners on Kalos. It's going to be one. Are you dead? No. Okay. It didn't get the didn't get the second uh, double. Didn't have the stage to do a double toss. Yeah. Had to just immediately convert into damage. Oh no. Uh, also, 64. speaking of combos, Toon Link actually, I believe the one of the only floaty characters, if not the only floaty character, with a frame two air dodge. Um, so it's actually pretty difficult for Rob to get a lot of the normal combos because the weight combined with the air dodge is such a strange combination. Um, but sometimes you don't even. Oh. Yeah, but who needs the fancy How? combos if you got the spin move, right? I feel like that's such a. It's almost the biggest fault of Spoopy thus far in this uh, in this set and in some of their games prior, where they're just so concerned about like having the resources available. Because why wouldn't you? We want to pull those bombs. You want to throw those boomerangs. But Dill is just already there, and she's already pressing a button when he's trying to gain those back. Right. As case in point, uh, you, you can throwing a gyro in the corner and converting that into an edge guard, yeah. converting that into loss and recovery. Oh, oh that was an amazing recovery. Oh, and the reversal. Okay. Okay. Like you're saying, Spooky coming out. Yeah. The, you said resource management. You know, like yeah. you're criticizing my resource management. Look how well Spooky managed that resource. Bomb exploding mid throw. Oh my. Look at all the pressure that Dill is applying to Spooky off that one grab. There was like three or four layers of mix ups. You guess wrong, you're dead. And already this is looking like it could be a potential three stock threat situation. That is not where you want to be against Rob, especially on Kalos, a stage that is so large where both these characters can prevent the other one from getting in. Yeah, it's the difference between hits and hits that matter, right? Like, okay, that dash attack was nice and all, but I still can stay up there forever. <laughs> That's a hit upbeat. that matter, oh, though. That mattered, absolutely. Get, finding that up air, huge trade. That was such a great setup. I love that. That was that was funny. That was adorable. You did, you did like the, uh, the bomb into dare, and like the bomb covered the dare. Oh, I love yeah, the little quirky yeah. setups. Escape by taking the hit. Very, very All nice. Right. You can see if and there's now, any sort of rage differential that can come with it. I think that was meant yeah. to be an up tilt, but yeah. Dill was able to get a fast fall nair out first. Oh, and, oh very nice. I was Escape. gonna say, if you're a two link player, you want to keep that rage because that's what makes your back air combos like even scarier. You know, especially Boy. with the Kalos layout, you can actually kill Rob at absurd percents, but it, it depends on you getting that combo starter. And again, we're seeing that Rob is really not giving too many openings to get that beefy combo starter. Nothing going, but in full screen setup, so you, all you have to worry about is that big laser, which only comes oh. around every once in a while. Good catch. Yeah, Lots Dill is just kind of in the air right now, and why wouldn't you be, right? You don't want to interact with a character that you know does potentially have kill combos. You have a lead, you're on Kalos, take your time. Yeah. Oh, this is so scary. <laughs> Dill, okay. stay still. Honestly, what, Rob is a character that has the opportunity to press so many buttons, right? right. But when the Rob player doesn't and just waits, that's what makes it so terrifying.
Yeah, they just get to watch you do something, and you know you have to reach in your pocket to pick an option, and they're like, okay, I'm going to look for that next time. Yeah. Oh, okay. No! Sure. The side <laughs> B, Dylan is so good at landing these. And they look like YOLO side Bs, but honestly, it's, it's not a YOLO if you have the read, right? Yeah. Um, I, I feel like we can... We can really dissect this. I, well, that last one is going to be like it's something out of hit stun. It's something out of like out of pocket after this uh, after that scrap. Right, right there. Hold on. We're gonna we're gonna go back. Yeah, we're gonna was watch. Was that out of a trade? Oh, that was out of a low hit stun hit on jab actually. So we're gonna see right here, starting the arm rotor. So they, the jab interaction happens. The arm rotor starts, but while you would normally think, hey, I'm holding block. I'm pretty. I'm flashing block here. No way are they going to do this big arm rotor, which is like yeah. super punishable. So we, I'm going to flash block, maybe get a parry on a down tilt and something that's retreating. Who knows? And then jump out of shield almost immediately or do like pick an option that's immediately. That reversal. is so accurate. That's like the classic example of like you're expecting the smart option because right. you're fighting an amazing player, right? But the amazing player knows you're expecting the smart option, so they do the stupid option. <laughs> and it works. That's like the fighting games in a nutshell right there, right? And, and I don't even think it's dumb, right, for uh, for Dill to do something like this because we've seen this exact interaction happen, like, maybe oh, four or five the, times the entire set. I mean, absolutely. If it works, it's not. But at the same time, you know, you expect Dill to be this player that's so patient and carefully, you know, taking space and advantage and not going for these big plays. But then... When it happens, it always works. Like, what was the accuracy on that setup, right? I think that that hit more times than it didn't hit, yeah. right? Just, so, I see you neutral get upping. I see you st standing there in the corner trying yeah. to prioritize, like, pressing a counter hit or pulling an item, and I'm going to arm rotor for you for it every time. And unless you prove you can kill me for this option, I'm going to keep on doing it. Absolutely. <laughs> that, that's smash.